right, so I started rolling out. We started rolling out, how long ago did we start rolling out, baby? Yeah, like six months ago. And it's amazing. Like, we were like, eh, what's the hype? And we started doing it. We bought our own, invested in Gold's Gym. That one, though, piece of shit. Falling apart. It's like lopsided. It's like rolling on a on an uneven. I don't even know. Uneven. Uh, what's the, those rollers called? The baking rollers. Rolling pin. It's like rolling on an uneven rolling pin. It was. It was a rough night last night. Noah got up like five times and he loves to get up to just come over to the side of bed crying to wake me up to be like I can't put my blanket back on my feet at three years old you should be able to put your own blanket on your damn feet That's all I'm saying so anyway as a good dad I calmly walked over there and did it but there's one thing after another last night and finally came in the room and slept on the side of the bed till 5.30. Which, whatever, it is what it is, right? But we got birthday parties today, right? Birthday party? Just one. Just one today. Just one. It's the life of a parent. Birthday parties, although it's friends of, our, friends of ours, so we will have some fun doing it. What's wrong? Uh-oh. Oh, that was a that was a fake cry. That's a cry for help, cry for attention. Um, all right, this is day four. Moving on. Are you laughing over there? Oh no, you're not laughing. I thought my wife. I thought Jazz was laughing at me because she normally laughs at me. I don't think she hears what I'm saying right now. I could say anything about her. This morning I caught her dancing on camera. That's how she got me. That's how she got me. Right, baby? What? That's how you got me? What? My dancing? Yeah. Sure. No, it was really her food. Even before we dated, she brought me over, as a good Jewish boy, she brought me over ham. I didn't know you were Jewish, all right? Just, she did. She lies. She brought me over a nice Tupperware <laughs> full of ham. Mmm, love ham. That's and. You kind of could tell now because of his beard. He doesn't have a beard anymore. Oh, yeah, I forgot he shaved it off. Anyway, I digress. Or my wife digresses. And I just partake in the conversation. Anyway, um, ham and macaroni and cheese. And greens. And no, you brought me over. You didn't bring me over greens. I didn't? Nope. If you would have brought me over greens, that would have been it. I would have impregnated you right there and then. Well, you kind of already did. Not at that point. We didn't even. Yeah, yeah, true. Six months later. Was it six months? It was a little bit longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. We, it, see, we could have had like two children in that time period. <laughs> I want more babies. She doesn't want to give me another baby, though. We're working on it. Back to the story, though. She brought me over ham and macaroni and cheese. And Tupperware, and then macaroni and cheese comes from her grandmother's recipe, which is it's orgasmic. Your great grandmother? Correction, great grandmother's recipe. So it's been handed down generation to generation, and it made its way into my stomach, which I gladly took, and it was amazing. And I literally, I think my toes curled a little bit, and that was it. I knew. From that moment on, also, something else I knew about her that really attracted to me was that she was actually engaged before we met, and she just recently broke up with her ex. And I don't know if it was like the level of commitment that she had and how amazing she was and how much good food she made, but all that combined just made me uh, really want to get with her. And then as far as dating, not like hook up, of course, I wanted to do that, but what I meant is like actually date her. And um, to me though, it was like 
love at first sight. For her, I had to convince her a little bit. I had to show her my uh, Ruben Pfeffer dance moves. Once I did that, game over, game over. Maybe we'll do a whole like thing on our story, how we met, because it's kind of really cool. All right, I'm out. We'll be back. been nice when the flowers just make you feel better man what does that say about me what does that say about me though I need to get you more flowers more often huh oh mrs. independent start calling you Queen Queen J independent women who run the world who run the world <laughs> You're not in the butt. <laughs> Maddie, what are you doing? You look in the corner. Where are we at? Bye. Bye.